How's it going, my battle squad? It's Michael here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Sage Let's Play. Last time, we went through... Okay, we went to the Dream Deary uh, Ranch to do the little night event thing. Went through Rustling Forest, met the new team organization, like the evil one that seems like to be in every Pokemon game. Then we went through Route 4, and then we got here to this new town, and then we found the Poncho guy! He went into the, the saloon here. That is not good. But, yeah, we're going to see what he... We'll just have to finally encounter this guy. We've been hearing about this guy for so long. Now we can finally take down this jerkwad. But anyways, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. Because it really does help us out. And also hit that subscribe button if you're new for some more Pokemon Sage. Anyways, we're going to do a little bit of exploring before we run into him. Because I'm sure it'll trigger a story event. And yeah, then otherwise we're going to miss out some th on the... Well, yeah, potentially some things. Uh, huh. So a Moscoon for a Rokano. Huh. Okay, well... I don't have one of those, so sorry. And tree is blocking the road, so can't go there. Rock smash would be pretty cool. I'm assuming we get that in this uh, in this town here. Did we already talk to you? I don't know. Let's see. There's a couple more houses. Generations of people living in the same house. It's certainly crowded, but we're happy here. All right, that's good to know. I lived in this town for 60 years. I can say for certain I've done plenty of moves. Yeah, that's great. My grandpa's always telling me I have to work hard, but school is so boring. I'm going to go to Pokemon Adventure when I'm old enough. I mean, do you really need to know anything about Pokemon going in the Pokemon world, going by yourself? I mean, seriously. What are they teaching these kids? I don't think they're teaching us any, like, survival tactics. Like, oh, if you make it to a town with no money, what do you do? And you're trying to get food or, you know, stuff like that. No, there's like, ah, oh, here's a Pokeball. Here's a Pokemon. Here, take a look at this Pokemon. Pet it. And, and, and see, they're nice things. Yeah, going to Pokemon Adventure. You graduate. No, okay, we don't need that. We just want to go right into our adventure, but no, they won't let us. Except they're letting us do it for some reason. And we must have been really, really intelligent if we had to skip school. <laughs> or maybe we didn't skip school, I don't know. All right, let's see, can I get out of the way? Okay, uh, let's go into this building. It's a hotel. I came from Dronia City. It's amazing that the wild Pokemon are part of the region be so different from those in another. It happens. Can you re really call us a hotel? I didn't receive a mitt in my pillow or anything. Welcome to the Legato Inn. We're very sorry we're f fully booked. If you happen to be a trainer, we suggest staying at the Pokemon Center. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go upstairs. I came with my new husband for a romantic honeymoon, but this place is so backwards. I was expecting somewhere tropical like Osseo City or Dante Bay. Came here with my new wife with our honeymoon, but she's disappointed. Our wedding was so expensive that this is the only place I could afford, but, uh, I can't tell her that. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, don't tell her that. <laughs> let's just forget about that and move on. So, let's see. Ooh, what is this Pokemon? Phantasmir. <laughs> okay. Not going to do that ever again. Okay, let's go to the saloon. Oh, my gosh, there he is. Oh, no, it has to be there, but how am I? Excuse me, I'm busy. Oh, this is like relaxing on a cool drink while you're working on your shift at the farm. Get lost, kid. This place isn't for you. Kids like you don't drink the good stuff. Uh, yeah, um, we do drink the good stuff. Ah, uh, don't try to act tough. Come on, come on, you really drink the good stuff? Uh, pff, yeah. Whoa, kid, I had no idea. You're not joking. You drink the good stuff? Dude, yes. Oh, that's great. Here, take mine. Oh, no, the good stuff's the water. It's not, it's not like alcohol or anything. It's good to see kids being healthy. Water's great for you. It's really the good stuff. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, jeez. All right, let's see. We got this item here, and it's a guard spec. And for some, some reason, the game's lagging. Stop it. That was weird. Okay, aren't you a bit young to be in here? Not really, if they're selling us water. I think I've had too much to drink. Matt, how may I serve you? Oh, yeah, fresh water. There you go. Um, oh, we only can buy one at a time? Okay, well. Let's buy that many. I don't know how many that was, but let's see. Buzz off, shorty. Oh. Oh. I see how this is. So you're just going to make me, I don't know, go somewhere else to trigger your event. Because there's nothing else and no one else to talk to. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the Pokemon. Maybe there's something in there. Nope, not really. Let's see. We got healing items. I think that might be helpful if we got a couple things. Because usually, you know, I'm getting stuck with paralysis and it's getting absolutely obnoxious. Awakenings, that seems to be an issue plenty of the times on these journeys. Okay, well, it looks like we can't mess with the poncho guy just yet, which is really annoying. Let's see, um... Yeah, we'll just stick, we'll stick with, uh, Kawadi up top. And we'll head up here to Route 5. 
Ooh. Let's see, what do we got here? And that is a whoa, what is that? A Tau Marin? Is that psychic type or something? Cause it's like going hum. Nope, it's going for secret power. That's a normal type attack, so it's a normal type. Uh great ball go! We'll find out. One, two, three! We got it. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at this thing. It is the balanced Pokemon, normal type, 2 foot 4 inches, 35.9 pounds. It consistently stands and moves with perfect balance, not even in strong winds or uneven ground. Nothing seems to distract it from deep meditation. You'd think that'd be a psychic type then, but it's not. Whatever. We got a great ball! So we got what we used, we got it back, so that's great! Let's see... Oh! Okay! I feel alive in the outdoors! Oh. It's a camper. Alright. Alpine. Well, that can be a little bit of a pain. We will switch out here into Cub Zero. Water Sport. Okay, really? <laughs> I don't think I have a fire type, but okay, let's go for that Ice Fang. And we do quite a bit. Oh gosh, here we go. Bullet Seed's gonna hit five times! Three, and it does half. Okay, Quick Claw. Ice thing to the face, you're dead, goodbye. Oh my gosh. Kawadi level 18, trying to learn Sonic Boom. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll get her to quick attack, I guess. Alright, fawning. Uh yeah, we'll stick. We'll go with Kawadi. Oh wow, level sixteen. Okay, well, Miss Supersonic. Okay, well, this fawning's not really doing anything. So, good, we hit this time. Come on, hit yourself. Hit yourself. No, 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 no. no, no that's not how that works. Okay, so we'll go for Sonic Boom. Okay, you do about. Down! Oh my gosh. This must have Skill Link. There's no way that it always does five. Okay, Thundershock, take it out. Par okay, Paralysis. No, I don't get the hacks. Oh my gosh. This game, though, it hates me. Ice Shard. Oh! Uses crit! Of course! That happens. But I don't need a crit. It's like, oh, here, take a crit. No! Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to go heal up, because this is ridiculous. Alright, I am back. Oh, that, I was thinking there was something over there, but... Oh, what is that? A Cybex? Hmm. Looks pretty cool. It has teleport. Well, I could I could use taunt right now, but I got rid of it. Oh gosh, no item there. Let's head up this way. Oh, who's this guy? You gotta use whatever advantage you can get. All right. Well, what? Yeah, give me, give me the works, man. Survivalist Andrew with a okay, those Tau Marin things. Okay. I'm gonna mess with its mind. Its meditation's gonna stop right now. Nope, too strong. It's its mind is just too strong. There's no way I can confuse something with a mind that strong. Except I can now. So, all right, let's see. Confusion. Secret power. Oh my gosh, that does a lot. But that's because that plus one. Critical hit. Okay, come on, hit yourself right here. Suicide, right here. Yeah! Okay, that's dead. Especially with a plus one attack. Now it's time for a harpy. Yeah, oh, pfft. yeah, we're staying. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, let's go for quick attack. My bad. And yeah, harpy's going down. That's it for Andrew. You have the advantage the whole time. 
No, 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 okay, no, no phone numbers. Whenever they start talking to me afterwards, I know they want my phone number. No, that's just definitely not happening. Shark Beak. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna check these rocks. Nope, nothing, okay. Let's heal up our Pokemon here. Yeah, we'll use this energy powder. And let's get go. Oh my gosh, it's Fisherman. It's, it's Fisherman Steve-O. Let's see, I'll make it clear to who the better Fisherman is here. Uh, I probably have the same exact skill as you. Wait a minute, Juan? Was it the other guy that was a Fisherman named Juan? Is it? I'm pretty sure he was. Oh my. Hopefully it's not the same exact Pokemon. I don't think it's the same Pokemon. They just used the same name. Oh, Whirlpool is a little obnoxious, but once I knock it out, the Whirlpool should go away. Possibly. Okay, Bowie. Well, Thundershocks take this out. Oh, it looks like a sliver of HP. Fair enough. And I'll just Thundershock it again. Just let it die. There you go. Go away. And that is it. That's it for Juan. I'm still better at fishing. Well, I'm still better than you at battling. So, let's see. Let's go. Let's go Cub Zero now. Oh, hey there. Watch as I absorb the power. And I didn't see what else you said. But I just saw you absorbing the power. Psychic. With a Cybex. Okay, well, hopefully it has more than just teleport. Okay, so, Quick Claw, I'm not sure if that was necessary, but Bite should do a lot of damage. Yeah, it did half. Oh, that's Confusion, so maybe it just used Teleport, because it could. Oh, it, oh, it actually was faster, maybe it did matter. <laughs> well, doesn't matter anyways, because it hit two times anyways! That's great. Cub Zero level 12, not 29, pfft, 19, okay. Oh, look at that! There's another Alpine. That's nice. Well, I'm going to run away. I meditate here for a long time and attained an inner harmony. Here, take this so your Pokemon can be in harmony with themselves too. And we got the Everstone. So now we can keep Pokemon from evolving. Yay. That's nice. Hey, we got more monkeys. But whatever. We're not going to catch another one. Not another one. Let's see. Oh, we got Hiker Jim. Hiking in nature gives you the chance to look inwards. Oh, boy. He's going to have a Pebbleosa. I'm going to get so upset. Mike Hale. Oh, man. Oh, he's one of the... Okay, that looks like a ro uh, rock fire type. I don't have a solution for this. Okay, Colbin. Especially when it's named Rock and then Kano. Lava, Rock, Fire Rock, usually. Oh wow, that took that so well. And these smoke screens, screens are gonna add up so quick. I'm gonna start going for Home Claws. Okay, I could take a few rollouts. So now our accuracy is back to 100% plus plus rep plus two on. Uh... Oh, you missed rollout. Ha! Ah! That's funny. That's funny! And I don't know why I'm not going for Bite, but whatever. We're gonna knock it out anyways. Pinglyph. Yeah, well, Bite. Plus two. Sweep! I should worry about what's happening outwards, too. Yeah, you probably should. Let's talk to you! I'm, I bet the craters here have some mineral deposits. I'm sure they do. Enrico. Okay, and he has a flask. We'll bite it. Looks like a ghost. Yep, it's gonna confuse us. Like a prick. Okay, so let's... Quick clock it. Don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. It's on your head! Nope, yeah, it's all on your head. And you're... Ah, uh, here we go. Poison ghost? Okay, we're gonna have to switch. This is, this is pathetic. Okay. Cold one, come on out. You missed with smog. Good for you. Pursuit, dead. See ya. Goodbye. Don't want to see you ever again. 
And we take down Enrico. Okay, so energy powder. Heal up our Cub Zero, and we should be all set! Hey, what's down here? Oh. Oh! Okay! This is just another way of getting up here. Let's pick up these berries, though. Oh, man, I wish there was a faster way just to pick berries. Just go down the line. You're like, you want to pick all these berries? Yes. That would be extremely useful <laughs> for a feature. Let's see. Let's move up here. Oh, great. We're back into snow. Abandoned observatory. Oh! I, they say cold weather is great for the cardio. You know, whatever. The, yeah. Black Belt Jackson. Oh! He has the... He has the evolution of, uh, the, what, a Gwade? That's awesome! That's really cool. Okay. Floor Breed completely counters it, though. If it's a Black Belt, then obviously, uh, it has to be water fighting, so... I guess we could test that, really. Just go for Hidden Power Flying and see what happens. Oh, no! no it went for Arm Thrust, that works too. Don't hit five times, though! Okay, four. It's never easy. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna go down. So a water fighting type, good to know for the future. Floor B level 21. They also say defeats the next step to success. No, we're not trading numbers. Sheesh. Okay. Got wild Pokemon. Too many monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay, go away. Dude, stop! Oh, look, there's one of these things again. Maybe we can get some flinch hacks and we can, like, catch it. It flinching couldn't move! Sweet! Yep, great ball, go! Let's see if this works. Otherwise, I'll probably teleport. One, two, three! Woo! We got it, Cybex. It's the wandering Pokemon, 2 foot 11 inches, 30.9 pounds, takes long journeys to mountaintops, searching for inner peace. Through meditation, it's able to see into the hearts of humans and Pokemon alike. Okay, interesting. Let's see, what's up here? Um, there's a snowball. Oh, no, it's not a snowball, it's a stone, apparently. Okay. What's this? Cave. Starry Cave. That looks really cool. Oh, blocked with Rock Smash. Alrighty. Let's head this way. And it seems like this is the way we're supposed to go. There's not much to see up here, just snow and old memories. Alrighty then. Scientist Vermont! And he has a flask. So let's just bite it, not kill it, but can we get flinch? We got that flinch! There we go! That's how you do it. Okay. We're almost level 20. Another flask. Can we get another flint checks? Can we? Nope. Okay, let's go for the table. Okay, I can live with that. Just, I can bite it with my ice fangs now. Which it already does anyways, because Cub Zero has ice for teeth. So, uh, I, I, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Okay, so we're here. Ooh. Laboratory. Let's, wait a minute. I missed an item, but anyways, let's see. Let's check out this laboratory. It's locked. Graffiti! Okay, we're gonna go back and get that item. The one the one I see right there. It's bothering... Okay, wild encounter. Fair enough. Let's see. More monkeys. Stop it. All right. Item, what is it? Okay, maybe I won't get to find out what the item is. Harpy, I really could care less about you. Or could not care less about you. Okay, whatever. Grammar. It's a problem. Today's society. Ah! Stop it. I don't want to fight you guys anymore. Alpine. 
If you're shiny, I may consider you. But no, you're not shiny, so I am not going to bother. Okay. <clears throat> so really, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Because I got all the way here, it says it was locked. And there was no way to progress the story in town. So it's either I triggered something by going this way. Or I just didn't do anything. So let's see. We'll find out. Okay, so we'll go down and around. There's Fisherman Freak, and let's head down this way. Maybe we did something that maybe the poncho guy will change his mind and actually want to battle us. It's highly likely. That's all I can think of. Oh, now he wants to fight. Yep, we triggered something. Not sure what it was, but poncho guy wants to fight now. What do you want, Pipsqueak? You want to get stopped by the great Ricardo? Oh, really, Ricardo? Come on, no. I, okay, I'm calling you Poncho Guy. No respect for Ricardo. Huh? Stolen Pokemon? Oh, you're friends with that loser got this Pokemon from? What? You're dating or something? Ha! She was pathetic. She wouldn't be, even be able to raise it properly. I'm doing this as a, as a favor. You want to give it back? Ha! I'll put you in place. Okay, fine. We'll take on Poncho Guy. Ooh, this theme, though. Outlaw Poncho Guy! And we got Quibble. What is that? Quick call, let us go first. Ice Fang, super effective, probably dead. It is dead. This guy's not even gonna stand a chance. Pyrote. Oh, that's uh... It's a fire type, and he has Kidling, so obviously that's probably what that is. So, we'll go to Koblen. Once again, we really don't have a solution to fire types, which could be an issue. Yep, it's that. Okay. Let's hold and claws. See how much this does here. Eh, we can live with it. We'll just do a little bit of stat boosting and we should be good. Just don't crit! Oh, no! I flinch. Okay. Fine. Be like that. Okay. So, energy powder. You! Ugh, I hate this guy. Tell crit. Okay, this guy is. I'm just... This is stupid. Okay, this guy actually might be you know. Yep. Now we. Uh, yeah, let's miss a supersonic once again. He's gonna get another crit. Nope. Okay. Or we miss a supersonic again. Okay, we have to let. This guy is really making me upset. Okay. Well, we'll bring out Florbury. Okay, so it's asleep. We can work with that. We can really find out what its typing is. We'll go for Air Cutter. Worst luck in this battle. Oh, it's res okay. It's still asleep. Okay, Mega Drain. Oh, okay. So it's neutral. So okay, woke up. That's not good. Oh gosh. <sighs> okay. Oh no. It's faster. Oh, we lost. We lost. Okay. Okay. Uh. We have Quick Claw on this thing, right? Can it activate now? No. Oh, crap. We lost. We lo Oh, my gosh. We lived. We lived! Okay. Even if we don't knock it out here, if we get really close. Okay. Ice Shard. Priority. Go down! Oh! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Oh my gosh. Samurado. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna do one of those uh, sacrifice kill things. We're gonna have Dream Deary come out. Oh. I don't know if it's a special attack or physical attack or what, but we just lowered its special attack. I've completely forgot about that. We'll go for uh, fresh water. Heal up Cub Zero. Okay. 
Good to know. We're healed up, though. So it's a physical attacker. Maybe. I think it's a ghost. No one for fan attack. I'm pretty sure it's a ghost. There's no way that would not be a ghost. We're going to bite. Quick claw. Let us move first. Oh, uh, that was neutral. Okay, we're going to go for Ice Fang then. Quick Claw, let us go first. I'm fine with that. And we'll go for Ice Shard, and he's somehow faster, and we almost died! Oh my gosh, that was close. Okay, that was a close fight, but that's because I got screwed with awful luck. If I didn't get, if I didn't have any bad luck there, that would have been, that should have been a breeze to take this guy out. You know what? I have better things to do than play games with little kids. You're here for this week, Pokemon? Why don't you take it? <laughs> well, whatever. This Pokemon doesn't count, short stack. That Pokemon was too weak anyway. If I ever see you again, I won't pull any punches, you hear? Alright, let's grab it. Found a Pokeball! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's empty. I like how they had the, like, the sound, like it kind of like died down after it found out there was nothing in there. Excuse me, young man! I could not even notice how well you dispatched that ruffian bra bravo and kudos. Let me introduce myself. I'm Professor Northington. I specialize in studying history. I'm fascinated by its mytholo uh, mythology in particular. To the north of here, there's a large cage where extra people of Orobos used to perform rituals during crystals. Uh, I don't know, his accent changed. After seeing how hardy, hardy you are, I have a proposition. I ask you to give me one of those star crystals from the cave. It's invaluable for my research. At my age, I can't go gallivanting up the mountains like I used to in my youth. Can you go up there for me? Ah, yes. In order to progress through the mountain, you will need this TM-63 Rock Smash, which really is nice because, yeah, the, it's not an HM, so you can teach it to any Pokemon and it'll be able to forget it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You don't need a gym badge for it either. So Rock Smash will teach that to a Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, let's teach it to Macabre. I was thinking maybe Cold One, but I don't know. So I'll get rid of... Doesn't matter. But, yeah. I mean, if it was an HM, I'd be like, Oh, gotta, I gotta, I'm not gonna teach you any of my Pokemon. Well, it's a TM in this game. It's like, let's do, could do stuff with it. It's not a bad idea to teach it to one of your main Pokemon. Because it's not necessarily terrible. It's just that later on in the game, when you don't need it anymore, it's like, like for in terms of power's sake, then you can't get rid of it. But in this game, you can, so whatever. So there is a place with Rock Smash somewhere over here. It's right here. So yes, we would like to use Rock Smash. Let's see what this item is. A full heal. Yeah. Alright. It's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so let's start heading back this way then. I know there are a few places we could explore with Rock Smash, so we're going to do that. Aha! Seems breakable. Macabre use Rock Smash. Oh, berries. Hooray. Hey, we got a lot of berries, though, and those are useful. Persian berries. Yeah, we got, got all of these berries. But yeah, Rock Smash. Yeah, if we can use it to access some places, then yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, wild wow, Pokemon. Enough with the monkeys! The hatred for the monkeys are real. <laughs> No, I'm not, I don't hate the monkeys. It's just that there's way too many! Okay, there has to be more rocks somewhere. Nope, not, up, not around there. There were rocks over here. Looks like it doesn't take you anywhere, though. Alright, this doesn't... Okay. No, they weren't rocks over here. Or were there? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm kind of distracting myself to vent out my anger. Okay, I know for sure there are rocks up here we could smash. Okay. Let's see. Can't smash those rocks and get anywhere new. There was... Yeah, I mean, that cave obviously had rocks to smash, but... See, there's an item over there? I think we can get that item now. 
So let's see. Ah. Uh, wild encounters. Hopefully it's something new. No, it's more of these things. Okay, let's see. There was a place where you could smash rocks. Oh no, that was strength. Uh. Anything over here? I don't think so. Nah. All right. So I mean, let's I mean, let's take a quick look at the cave. You never know. There might be something cool in there. At least we can smash the rocks. Starry Cave. We won't necessarily start it today because we're already at like 30 minutes. But let's just see what it's all about. Give ourselves like a, a clue of what's gonna be going on here. We got wow, Pokemon. That's one thing. Whoa. It's intensing gravity. Hmm. Oh! Oh, that took that so well. Okay, so it's using curse. At first, at first I thought it was like using curse and it was like a ghost type. And I was like, oh crap, that's not good, but no. So it must be a psychic type. Psychic rock type? Yep, because it's going for confusion, okay. Yep, we're catching it this episode. Yeah, great ball. Got it. Okay. The orbit Pokemon Psychic Rock type uses its psychic control over gravity to levitate itself above the ground. So it'll sometimes get confused which way is up and float upside down. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so it looks like, hey, there's an item here. Might as well grab that. Got a Stardust. At least we could sell that for a lot of money. How about this? We'll take a look at the wild encounters here, and then we'll end off the episode. Oh! Pebalosa! Nope. Bane of my existence. Go away. I already don't like this place, if there's Pebalosa here. So, we got Chalonite. Great. Okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I, I don't want to look at any more of these ugly Pebalosas. So, we're going to get out of here. And we'll just sit right outside and we're going to end off the episode. So next time we'll be in the Starry Cave. And yeah, we'll get that crystal for that one guy. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for some more Pokemon Sage. See you guys later.